Good morning. As you see, I had a bang this morning before seven o'clock, the usual, and now it is 11 o'clock and I'm having my first meal of the day, which is protein waffles. Look how good these look. I made these with the Quest protein powder. Like literally all you need is a scoop of protein powder, a teaspoon of baking powder, an egg and a splash of almond milk and they came out perfectly. So I'm having these with two tablespoons of butter. There's no fat in these basically at all. So I definitely upped the butter so that it can have some fat. Mm, finger looking good, might I add. I'm also gonna throw just a smidgen of sugar-free syrup on here. Make no mistake, the star of the show here is the waffle itself and the butter. I mean, those two flavor combinations are amazing. I'm just gonna throw some syrup on there for some added gooiness. And I think that's all I'm gonna have for right now. For some reason, I'm really in the mood for waffles. I still have my tuna, I still have my nachos. Today is gonna be a great day. Also, before I forget, I've started on a Powerade and I'm just gonna be drinking this throughout the day as well. Okay, I'm back. Those waffles were good, but not as filling as I thought they would be. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig into these brownies. These are two brownies stuck together, aka one brownie. Um, these are the brownies from the Goodies Bake Mix that I used. They taste so good. They taste really chocolatey and I like that. They do have the cooling effect, just a mild cooling effect of erythritol but I'm so okay with it. So I'm gonna have those brownies and then work for a little bit and then like have a real lunch, which will probably be my nachos. I like keeping everything in the refrigerator. So I'll put these in the refrigerator to firm up a little bit. Let's see what they look like. Mm. Just really good, really melty. I like them. All right, so it's noon and like, for some reason, I'm still hungry. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my nachos now. So look at all the stuff I have. In this bowl, we have four ounces of ground beef. I'm going to add, I'm gonna add nothing because I can't open the lettuce. 20 grams of chopped onion. Sprinkling of jalapeno. An ounce of taco cheese. Now normally I like to shred my own cheese, but I just was not in the mood yesterday. So it be like that sometimes. Some hot sauce. A dollop of sour cream. And then the star of the show, Quest Chips. Here's a chip. You can see it. It looks just like a Dorito. It tastes very similar to a Dorito. It's a lot thinner, so it's not as crunchy or crispy. It's, it's definitely lighter. Mmm. But still, a great amount of crunch and a great flavor. So I just dumped the bag on top of there. And nachos we have. So I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna chew gum so that I can be done eating for the time being. And then I'm gonna get back to work. Look at this. Oh yeah. Mm. Okay, I am back and it's time for my afternoon snack, which has become this passion tea from Tazo. Oh my gosh, you have heard me talking about it on my Instagram. I am obsessed. It tastes so good and it's like candy and I've been drinking it every single day since last week. So I'm having, this is 12 ounces right here. So one tea bag, 12 ounces, like two teaspoons of pure. And so I'm gonna hit that with a half a tube of Zip Fizz, like my girl Chella, AKA Foodie Turn Sleevey does. Now this is my first time doing this. Normally I just have it with the pure and a tablespoon of heavy cream but I'm also gonna throw in some Zip Fizz to see how that works. Okay. This is 
what it looks like. Creamy and delicious. Uh, let's have a taste. Oh, that's tart. That's amazing. Okay. So I love this flavor anyways because it is sour and it, it literally reminds me of like a Jolly Rancher. It reminds me of candy. So that mixed with this pure is so good. But mixed with the pink lemonade zip is, I don't even know if I'll need the pure next time because this is sweet. Oh my gosh. How? How is this so good? I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna drink this. And I'm gonna cry because this is so good, okay? This is so good. All right, it is dinner time, a little later than I like to eat, but we're still doing okay. So for dinner, I am having more tuna, cause it's delicious, and then just dessert. No side this week. Okay, so right here we have 85 grams of tuna. To that, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of this Primal Kitchen mayo i didn't really like it so much on my burger but on the tuna it's actually okay 30 grams of relish 20 grams of onion and some mustard to boot give it all a good mix and there you have it give it a little taste mm. the onion is major key i also have my jello and my Zevia. That concludes what I eat today. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly full days of eating, and I do monthly weigh-ins. You can also find me on Instagram, at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks and I'll catch you next week.